upvotes to the left. This is where you fight the fourth story boss? Holy cow. I'm not sp Wait a minute. This isn't my world. I've still got to fight the dancer. Like, I, I like having one optional, I think, boss in my back pocket. I hate weird enemies, man. You, you look like you're going to break my loot, you little miniature phalanx. I like having one boss that you can just go to. Because it means whenever you get stuck or like you're sick of exploring, you could always be like, hold up, I'm just going to go tackle that boss real quick. Oh, that's true. And then Knight's Cavalry. Oh, you're a uh, backstab? <laughs> you're going to hit me. I have no stam. I'm a fool. Good jumping. Really good jumping. This fool's gonna drop like 30 runes. Check this out. There's 30 runes for you. 60. Wow, dude, I was way off. Alrighty. Another grave of runes? Well, I'll just be honest with you. I don't think anybody would blame me. I'm never gonna fight one of those ever again unless I have to. Hello. And then this is where you go, he doesn't know, he doesn't know, and then you lie to me and you go, oh, the boss of this area is just one big one of those that also summons other ones of those. He doesn't know, I know, I know more than you, probably. Not really. Most people are probably a little further ahead in this game than I am, if I had to guess. Just peeping. Just peeping. Dude, I can take this area no sweat. No frickin' sweat. Feels nice to have a map, by the way. Everybody who was like, you should get the map, take a bow. You were absolutely correct. You're strong? I should have known. It's the red armor. You see that large dog? I mean, turtle? Okay, I don't want to be there. Check this out, though. Whoops, that's not the right button. Check this out, though. Bro, that's kind of cringe. You just hit your own boy with one of those. Incredible. I need to see this hammer backstab, man. I'm running into trouble. Wow. Don't rush me. Don't rush me. Get rushed yourself, sir. I'm. You'll never see a panic roll more panicked than that. That was an embarrassing display. I'm still not, I'm not okay. Gerard Way, I'm not okay. Okay, I, I knew that one, I knew that one. You can dodge that one. What are you doing, you fool? My flask, thank you. A better helmet, perhaps. Although I'm already on heavy equipment load because I refuse to level anything but strength. Rip spine users, so true. Yeah, I don't want to, um... I don't want to fight you. There's snow and fire in the same place. This shit is like Iceland for real. I just got to get to that grace statue so I can fast travel. Certainly doing a lot of map coverage today. A little scared of this. Oh, I, I hold on. I've seen a viral clip on Twitter. Of, the, of this guy. Where you could... Somebody was riding a horse... And then they jumped off of their horse and did a critical plunging attack into that weird thing. There's a dungeon by those guards? Really? Really? Okay, that's good to know. An optional boss, perhaps? What the hell is that?
This shit is literally on fire. You, um, are stronger than I expected by a large degree. This is called the Death Spiral. So when you can't take on one enemy, you're like, you know what would really hit the spot right now? Fighting uh, 15 at the same time. Too slow. Way too slow. Whoa! I saw those purple shots. I just didn't think they would make it all the way over here. We can get up there. Is another American Gladiator section. No sweat, man. Take some loot. Yippee. Explosive Great Bolt. High percentage chance we never use that over the course of the entire game. Doesn't matter. The only thing that matters is killing this guy. Then we work backwards. I was really hoping that you were going to be like a meek little sorcerer. Oh! <laughs> you are not a, a meek sorcerer. You're an incredibly large knight. Okay. I'll uh, revive at the last stage Statue of Grace visited. And then I will use my horse to retrieve my runes. And then I'm getting the hell out of there. Here we go. Statue of Melania. No, thank you. Resin. Resin. You ain't getting those back? I can't imagine what would stop me. Look at how fast I am. I'm jumping over entire human beings in, in a single bound. We out here? Where's my grace statue? He's fast as hell. Uh, in another invisible foe? It's right here. It's right here. Look at that. Okay, easy, easy. Now, I'm going to rest at the site of grace, but check this out. I'm actually... I'm not going to level. Let's take this as a natural stopping point. I will visit the round table hold, now known as the table of lost grace. And I'm going to try to level up this hammer a little bit. Even though it's slow and I think it might kind of suck. I still support it. Well, I took you I'm not dead. I, honestly, I don't think... I've, I've died like twice this stream so far. It's no sweat. I'll strengthen my brick hammer. Thank you. I've been playing these games for... I don't know, like a decade now, I still don't uh, know how to read anything on the upgrade screen at all. With God as my witness, I just hit the button on, on, until it says you can't hit it anymore. Oh, I need six smithing stones. My mistake. That's my mistake. You have something to turn into the girl. You know what? For you? Yes, I have a crystal I have a crystalid thing for you. Yeah, tell her what the blacksmith said. I possess some kind of gift. Yeah, yeah. I don't believe if I do have I suppose I should I'll ask Master Hugh to teach me. Master Hugh. Certainly he does appear or I know he's I can tell. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I do have I suppose I should Yeah, yeah. I have something for you. Who that oh hello. You haven't gone to see Garanke. No. Just as long as he I, I, I feel like that's a boss that's going to annoy me. There's a different girl. You got to speak to a different girl. Okay. Uh, this was not open last time. Hello. A uh, hello. Uh, do you need <laughs> I have little time to spare. What do you mean a house guest? Then you would do well to him. Stand before the Elden Ring and become the Elden Lord. If okay, if you're offering. I do so. Sure. Once the wisdom of the two fingers become as a true I have harm says Nambi Pambi Oh no he's talking about cancel culture shelter from the rain We've spoken long 
Oh, all right. Well, sorry about that or whatever. How about you receive these two fingers? Absolutely true. I'm going to offer a bell bearing. I don't have any of those. That's my bad. I'm sorry I wasted your time or whatever. You got to talk to the blacksmith first. Okay, I can do that. What, like it's hard? Just got to can maybe try gesturing real quick. <clears throat> yep, that's me. I got to ask you like about the chains on your Oh no, about Rodrika. Would you watch over Rodrika? Who'd stay with an ugly brute who only knows how to smith? It's what she wants. By the way, about the chains on your legs? Alright, cool. See ya. Well, okay, sorry. Hold on one second. Yep, that's me. I want to hear more of your story. Besides, besides, besides. Um, learn some new segues, nerd. From one word cell to another. Okay, I talked to him for you. He says he likes you or whatever. But he says he like likes you, but he's uh, suspicious because he's been hurt before. Okay, now, I mean, we could do anything, man. What if we went to the Saints Bridge? Why not? We got a little bit more to explore in the north. Next time you come back, she'll be in front of the blacksmith. Okay, okay. I wish to travel to the north. Is this a thing that can happen? It's kind of a big wall in front of us, I'll admit. Oh no, the blacksmith's wife took the kids to her sister's place. It's a sad story. Is that why he's got mushrooms growing out of his head? I don't think we can get up there, man. I'm just being honest with you. Oh, what the heck? You made a huge mistake. <laughs> you, I'm just being real with you. You don't want any part of this right now. One of these days I'm going to get you. Oh, big whoop. The horse combat is next gen for sure. Okay, now check this out. Check this out. There's an item. Ooh. You gotta jump down from the cliff above? If I knew how to get to the cliff above, I wouldn't be trying to jump up here, man. Oh, okay. You can just do this. Hello. Turns out it's actually insanely easy, and I'm just a fool. That's Mythbusters proved that if an elevator is uh, collapsing... Lance. Okay, that's kind of sick, though. Um, all you have to do is jump at exactly the right time, right before the bottom, and you would totally live. So that's what I did right there. They proved that doesn't work? Oh, I didn't watch the episode. That sounds more plausible. Nah. Yeah, see this, uh, the, the hold of Artorias? This is the donning of the hold of Artorias? This is Stadium from Warzone, you can't fool me. Okay. It's a rich world with lots to explore. 
I doubt Mythbusters accounted for double jumps. <laughs> you don't think so? They, they ran for a long time. They did a lot of seasons. Ooh, hello. No, no, no. Liar ahead. Secret passage ahead. You gotta check. I, I'll never be sad I got baited there. Oh, hello. Be wary of pathetic sort. <sighs> sure, sure. Why won't the door open? Let me guess. Try gesture. Invaded by Rakus and Henricus. Whoa! My stand. You're actually straight garbage. I kind of like your weapon. But you're pretty much terrible. I'm gonna sip just to disrespect you. Look at, do you see that dude getting bodied? That's an embarrassment, man. Imagine getting killed by a recusant Henricus. Literally just jump attack, he's dead. Nice try. Is this one another player? No, you can tell because he's not named like, you know, Swaglord 16. Okay, sure. I have too many, uh, I have too many finger remedies. I don't know what to do with them. Every single one appears to be a different kind of summon. Check this out though. Curved sword talisman. Let me get that hammer talisman. I mean, this is, I, if this isn't a hammer, I don't know what is. No ahead ahead, thank you. Thank you for not wasting my uh, weapon's durability on nothing. Dead end, thank you. A golden rune? I'll still take it. I'm not picky. Miyazaki, I'm a little insulted, okay? That you would just have, like, almost nothing in this area. This must be DLC. This is a DLC-based area. Without a doubt. This must be the place. If someone asks, home is where I'll creep. Yeah. Would totally work. It would totally work. Let me in. You don't have the right. Yeah, 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 I know. Okay. Dark Souls 2 PvP area. We've hit the terminus of the map. Okay, what the heck was going on over here at the Rampart Tower? I don't remember any of this stuff. Surely there's got to be, like, a grace statue. Where the heck was the was the Everjail, man? It's right there. How many? We could... We must have missed a thousand grace statues going down to this Everjail. Oh, it's the Sights of Grace, by the way. Like, if you rest at a... Oh, you know why? Because I'm in the damn tutorial. I put myself in the tutorial again. I don't want to be down here. Put me in the first step, please. Okay. I wish to... I want to go back to the Everjail. But I also want to pick up some grace statues on the way. So if I decide not to uh, go back to the Everjail long term, then I at least have to, I have a fast travel location. Oh, you know what? That's true. I could probably do the poison swamp now that I got some armor. That's, that's very true. That's damn true. Are you pogged up for Survivor 42? Thank you for the reminder. I forgot. Um, I read a message earlier that was like, Survivor starts next Wednesday. And I meant to say pog, but then I never replied instead. Because I got distracted by something in Elden Ring. 
But I'm I am pogging. Yes, I am pogging. I will kill a dung beetle. I don't care. You're not a dung beetle. Don't bad chest survivor. It's harmless entertainment. There's dozens of us. I'm not scared of you. I will bad chest it because it's not Big Brother. Honestly, the Big Brother community scares the crap out of me, man. I'm sure the Survivor community is also... You know, it has some bad apples. But the Big Brother community... Maybe it's only because I see it in, like, Dan's tweets. Or replies, I should say. But it seems to attract a, a different sort of toxicity. You're large. Uh, big whoop. Also, live cam creepers. Uh, here's my philosophy on life right now, okay? I don't really care what you do with your time if you're not being an a-hole. So, like, if you want to spend 16 hours a day watching... Crab eggs? Uh, watching Big Brother uh, live cams doesn't really bother me. Everybody's got hobbies. It's not how I would, you know, spend my time, but, but who cares, you know? But if you spend all day watching Big Brother live cams and then like on Twitter your avatar is a Big Brother player who's not you and you uh, talk exclusively talk to other people whose avatars are the exact same Big Brother player and then whenever anybody talks about anything, if they've ever been on Big Brother, you go, don't care, didn't ask, plus you ruin things for my favorite player in season 10 or something like that. That's where I think you need to touch some grace personally. Because you're just really being, like, kind of a dickhead, quite frankly. But every hobby has people like that. Don't get me wrong. How quickly would you lose your mind in the Big Brother house? Pretty, pretty quickly, I think. I don't think I could live with 11 uh, adults who don't do the dishes. Like, I think I would... I think I would lose my mind. Hello, I'd like to open my map, thank you. What the hell was that? <laughs> what on earth? Is that an anal fissure? What is this? What's you? You were just under the ground. It's so sad that you just came up from the ground just to get one tapped by this big boy hammer times three. Hold on. Does this message say dog? Surprise attack ahead? Not really. Mimicry ahead? Mimicry? Are you a mimic? <laughs> nope. Okay. I, I thought maybe they that was like King Godric masquerading as a as a stag, and if I killed him here, it would give him a health debuff on the fight. String. That was the loathsome dung eater. It's like looking into a mirror. Just take me to the Ever Jail, man. Like this, I feel bad. I'm over level for this shit. Dung is pretty tasty. Shut up. Like just being deliberately gross isn't a personality trait. Yeah. 
Yo, you thought I forgot. You thought I forgot what I what I was doing here. I did get the large club. I'm pretty stoked about that. NL doesn't know about pouch bindings. I honestly just don't give a shit is, is the real answer. It's not that I don't know. It's that I just like, I'm okay using the quick bar for now. And I, I don't want to, like, we're doing it again, you know? I, I don't want to create this idea that, like, um, I'm going to optimize my game uh, 100%. So instead, sometimes I do things, uh, oh, I'm dead, uh, deliberately, like, badly, uh, as, just as a joke, just to, just to make you upset, really. Hold on, what the heck? There's an area down here. The Bridge of Sacrifice. You, you wouldn't believe this. A few years ago, I met the Road of Sacrifice. You guys related? Oh, he almost got me. Gauntlets. Wow, so spooky. Uh, dude, those are the most valuable resource in the game right now. A stone sword key. It's the most valuable resource in the game. There was a time when you were scary. There was also a time before you were born. If someone asks, this is where I'll be. Go ahead, shield me. Get baited. Did you see Jerry Seinfeld is making a movie about the invention of Pop-Tarts? That's going to be good, man. I was thinking about that the other day. Like, I was eating some corn nuts, as, I, as I've talked about recently. I've, I've recently discovered that um, I actually like corn nuts. It was just that I was eating, like, the wrong brand earlier in my life or something like that. Um, I think Netflix needs less shows about murders and, like, more shows about snacks. The Weeping Peninsula. Because, like, just eating a snack is fine. It's, there's nothing wrong with it. But, like, if I could eat a snack and also simultaneously be like, I'm also learning about the snack while I'm eating it, then it's like an, it's an actual cultural experience. It's like I'm learning while I'm eating. It's not just mindlessly snacking at the Ill, Ill benefit of my midsection. It's like I'm learning. It's a cultural experience, man. So they need to do that. Less shows about murder. Is, Is there anybody in there? Oh, I, I'm spoken for, lady. I've escaped from Castle Morn to the south. The servants there have rebelled. I can't be sure what it is. My eyesight's been weak since birth, you see. But I Same. Swear I heard frightful howling from all over. My good father secreted me out the castle, but decided himself to stay. He says it's his duty. As commander. Okay. I, the servants are full. They've since come for every one of the I fear it's no fleas. Yes. Would you mind taking a letter? To sure, the yeah. Fleas? Do you want me to play um, your music box for him as well? Irina's letter. Please, he can be stubborn. Okay. Behold dung. Is that a, is that a message we could write? Behold dung. I would love to just write behold dung in front of every NPC in the game. Yes, you can. Okay, maybe that I could be the guy who calls all the NPCs dung. That's my new character. <laughs> Tough luck, doggy. What the hell? He's insane. His iframes are unbelievable. Ah, he's okay. Oh, what? Walk backwards. Never forget about walk backwards strategy. Okay, you didn't even get aggroed, which is kind of surprising to me. How about you guys? I, I just, I'm willing to do whatever it takes for the item. 
Oh, excuse me, my roll initiate is insane? Hello. I'm willing to take you, man. I think this is my moment. I still think we can take him. If there was ever a time. I mean, we beat Margit two times. You're just you're just a peasant giant. Ooh. <laughs> Quick two tap. Just treat it like Margit. Occasional tap when you get a chance, get your stand back. Dude, we need way more equip load, too. You got a sword, huh? Okay, that's fair enough. You should never attack first under a giant. Everybody knows this. I'm insane. I'm the best. He's got too much momentum. What? Okay, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Give him. Give him one. Give him one more! I at least thought we'd get like a, you know, giant vanquished. Apparently not. These things always have a chest, right? I hear you. I hear you. The morning star. All right. Okay. You get a lot of fucked up enemies in these games. I don't know if anybody's ever noticed this before, but... I feel like... Miyazaki, you would think that he would be like this twisted, um, like, psycho, right? Who just, like, he, he goes and lives in a cave for, like, two years, and then he comes out and is like, check out this shit that I saw, like, you know, the shadows were making this monster on a wall. I bet he's the most, like, not to be rude, but the most, like, routine, boring motherfucker on planet Earth. I bet he's like, after work, I like a nice cup of, of lukewarm green tea. Just like a sweet guy. Yeah, that's a, I, again, this is not um, an area of which I have a ton of expertise, but I thought that was true about Junji Ito as well. People always expect him to be like, um, you know, my mind is a twisted labyrinth of despair. But actually, he's like, I like Guretama. And you're like, what? Junji Ito is a huge cat guy. Doesn't surprise me, man. Yeah, and then... Uh, Studio Ghibli Miyazaki. Every interview with him is like... Every moment of creating art is torture. I long for the sweet oblivion of death so I can finally take a rest. And then all of his movies are like... What if a girl became a bird? And then you're fucking bawling your eyes out. She's a bird for real. It's crazy. Just like Kanye said, the prettiest people do the ugliest things. For the road to riches and diamond rings. And shorty, shorty's holla where the ball is at. Can I have this rune, please? Okay, um, just trying to figure out where the heck I'm going. I, mean, it's, I didn't even know this. Uh, if you had asked me on day one, I probably would have said the game takes place in the world of Limgrave. That's that's how much I didn't understand the the scope of this game. We've come a long way. Huge game. Huge game. Limgrave is like one-tenth of it. Yeah, every... Oh, I'm going back to where I was. 
Every time I visit Apollo's stream, he's in some area that's called, you know, it's like, you know, the cosmic confluence. And I'm like, what the hell's going on? His health bar is like across the whole fucking screen. He's got like 25 inventory slots. I don't even know what the hell they do. I don't like flowers in this game or IRL. I don't even know what I'm doing. Try up. Okay. 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 The forest lookout tower, of course. I don't trust a pot with a face on it in this game. No item ahead. I'm so eager to type liar ahead. I appreciated you trolling Apollo last night. Thank you, thank you. I don't, uh, you know, it's not to be a hater. It's just to inject some pog into chat. Because everybody in chat is like very people talking. Remember where you fought? Mur, mur, mur? Well, if you go back there and you mur, and you take a 35 degree turn, mur, you open a chest and mur, mur, mur. and I just come in and I'm like, hey, have you beat Margit yet? And then everyone in his chat goes, Ryan, Ryan. This is be wary of trap. I, you know, you got to do it. You got to do it. It's a hand ballista. And the ballista bolt. I'm not a coward. Be wary of trap. Honestly, here's what you do. We'll, we'll be a nice, wholesome guy here. Be wary of... People. Be wary of liar. Toggle message format and a gesture. Be wary of liar. Point down. Point down. Yeah. I beat Super Auto Pets 100% and now my life is empty. Honestly, like, I feel... Um, I, I play a little bit on my phone before bed sometimes. The community that's left in Super Auto Pets is too good right now. I think all of the non-Super Auto Pets psychos are playing Elden Ring right now. Tower. So true. So freaking true. So the only people left in Super Auto Pets are, like, insanely good right now. Hi. Hello, honey. Hello. You have to get a scroller out. Oh, okay. Hold on, Chet. I'm, I think I'm in a safe place. Can you pause? I, I cannot pause, but I can I can help you get the stroller out. Okay. If, if you give me the space to remove myself from my desk. Oh, so you're you're going to stand here and I'll get the no, stroller no, no, out. No. Okay. <laughs> I see how it is. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Oh my. 
I'm back. Be wary of crying. If only I had a giant dot 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 colon comma baby. You didn't make her cry. She's just in like one of those phases. You know, when babies get to be around this age, she's like, she's almost one and a half. Um, they, they get like a, an independence to them. Whereas before, you could just kind of be like, I'm just gonna do what I need to do. And you're a baby, so you're just gonna kind of like hang out there and be like goo goo gaga. They get some independence, and they're like, I don't want this, I want this. And then it's, it becomes a negotiation. She probably saw your character's back hair and was like, who's this? Who's this hairless man? I mean, this hair is abundant, but so what? Grace blind. Thank you, thank you. Grace blind. Grace blind. Grace blind. Hey! My two-year-old gets upset if you don't let him do everything himself. We're, we're approaching that, I would say. Without a doubt. Also, like, I mean, a child at that age, they don't really, like, understand. I don't know. It takes them until, like, their 30s to understand, I guess, how to take advice from people who, who know more. Like, some of the, she she walks around... And that's cool. And she, like, picks up stuff, right? So she'll pick up, um... Like, uh, like a water bottle. And she'll go, like, bottle. And I'm, like, so true. And I, I don't mind if she walks around with my Nalgene. Who cares? But then sometimes she'll just, like, go up to the oven and, like, turn it on. And I'm, like, don't freaking do that. Because <laughs> it's... <laughs> you're gonna burn down the house. But, like... How do you explain to a to a one and a half year old? I have no quarrel with you. You have a quarrel. You have you have knives. I have a quarrel with you. You're not that strong. Look at your posture is taking so much damage. That's so sad for you. I crossed the bridge. I earned it. But then, like, sometimes you say no, and then she's just like, she's like, I'm just going to cry. So, like, the oven, I just have to be a hard ass on that one. I'm like, don't touch, don't touch the oven dials. But I'll admit, like, oh, thank God I went back for that rainbow stone. Um, she was, like, on the, she was crawling around the other day. She does a lot of walking, but she was on the on the floor crawling around and she went to like the cat food dish and she was like what's this and i'm like don't touch that it's dirty and she's like what's this and i'm like it's ruka's food and then she's like what's this i said it's ruka's poop and then she went poop and i said yeah ruka's poop and then she's she's was kept trying to pick it up and i would take it out of her hand and then i would she'd pick it up and i'd take it out of her hand and then eventually i was like you know what go ahead pick it up i just let her pick it up made sure she didn't eat it and then like when she decided that she had enough of it, I was like, okay, I'm going to wash your hand. It wasn't poop. It was just cat food. I told her it was poop to try to get her to not uh, touch it, but she was too smart for me. Sometimes you got to let them... You, know, you got to pick your battles, because if you just said, like, no to everything, it's hard. Like, obviously, there's something she shouldn't be touching from, like, a safety standpoint. And there's some things, like, she shouldn't be touching because, you know, it has, like, a little dust on it. And I'm like, that's okay. Go ahead. I'll just, I'll just clean you up after. Would it have been an issue if she ate it? I don't want her to eat cat food. It would have been an issue for me as a, as a father and a man, I think, to look at myself in the mirror knowing I let my child eat uh, cat food. Ooh! Uh, first off, jellyfish, no thank you. But also, guide and gatekeeper. Well, well, well.
Secret passage? I don't like a jellyfish, by the way, but... Oh, that's stun. Oh, easy mode. I don't like jellyfish, but you gotta do what you gotta do. Underground Kuma head. How about that? Another dungeon. The Tombs Word Catacombs. They were just friends. They were lifelong bachelors who enjoyed each other's company. They just lived together. Fogwall? Okay. Okay, Bone Lord. Wait, Stone Sword? Stone Sword Key? I will use one at every opportunity. I'm never saving a Stone Sword Key. You're not dead. Now you're dead. Now you're dead. Okay. No, I was. You were supposed to be like a seed or something. A cookbook. Who cares, dude? I just use FoodNetwork.com. Dark Souls Two door. It does not open. We need to learn a better gesture. The statue of Marika. The summoning pool is now functional. By the way. Who's your favorite Food Network chef when it comes to recipes? And who's your favorite Food Network chef when it comes to entertainment? I gotta say, recipes for me is not even close. I go Alton Brown 100%. Good Eats, also an entertaining show, but they... Uh, it really shows its age at this point. Like, it's it's very ska. It's a very ska type show. In terms of entertainment, I'm trying to think. I don't know. I mean, I don't have a problem with Guy Fieri. I like Guy Fieri. Be wary of Mushroom. You see that little purple dude up there? That's a flower. That's not a purple dude at all. Jacques Pepin? I like Jacques Pepin. I got nothing to... I mean, obviously, I don't think he's on the Food Network right now. Because he might be... Deceased, maybe? Or 90 years old? He's alive. He must be old. I'm not trying to, like... You know, I'm not knocking him. Like, I hope I get there one day. He is 90. Okay, yeah. You still got a show on PBS? Honestly, that's like an old man dream. I would love to be 90 and have a show on PBS. Men will literally just be 90 and have a show. Like, that's so cute. Nigella Lawson all day. I hear you. I see you. You know what? I'll sip on this one, just in case. They hate how little it takes to make us happy. I love that, because it was like a self-aware tweet, right? The one that was like, they hate how little it takes to make us happy, and it was just a... Whoa! Oh, good. I After being surrounded by skeletons, I finally got a, a bone fragment from a human being. So nice. Um, but... Uh, it was just a picture of, like, a, a desk and then a mattress on the ground. I knew it! And then someone said, shut up, bro, you don't even have a bed frame. And then he replied, I don't deserve a bed frame. Actual, like, goaded message plus response. Yeah, let's go! NL, please be careful. You don't want to put so much stuff on your quick bar. It makes it hard to choose between 16 different types of resin during every boss fight, as well as your flask. Yeah? 
How about you take one of these and call me in the morning? I would recommend like a bed frame. I'm not trying to tell you how to live your life. My dad doesn't work for like a bed frame factory or anything. Like I have no vested interest. But I'll, I will tell you, I am a, a big low bed guy. Like, every time I visit my parents... You're gonna kill me up here, huh? Okay. Every time I visit my parents... They have a high bed. I deserve that. I still deserve it. And it... <laughs> annoys me. I should be dead. I, I should die here. It annoys me, because I'm not used to sleeping on it. I feel like you need like a step ladder to get into the bed in the first place. I'm a low bed guy. I like sleeping close to the ground. A chest? Could this be a coffin? <laughs> you're shorter when you're on the ground? Yeah, but like who cares? I don't know, it's just I feel more comfortable close to the ground. I did not sleep on the floor in Korea. It is commonly done. Um, or you just have like a little, like a little futon sort of mat on the ground. I slept on a bed. I would describe it as perhaps a medium height bed. Don't kill me. I've made it so far. Hello. Hello. Stay calm. Pull lever to open the door so now we can fight the boss. Let's go. Alright, but we better kill this boss first try because I gotta pee, man. Is the thing about fans in Korea true? I don't know to the extent in 2021 that... Uh, that people still believe in fan death, but definitely as of 2012, people believed in fan death without a doubt. Sorry, it's 2022 as well. That's a good point. But on the fiscal year. What is fan death? It's the idea that there's like, um, if you sleep with a fan on in your room, it could somehow lead to you uh, being killed. Either by like asphyxiating or suffocating or like hypothermia or so there's Okay. There's a lot of like silly implausible hypotheses for that people have for why this could be. But it seems like I mean obviously people outside of Korea sleep with fans on and don't die. You're pretty strong. I think I could just take you. Um, Dex users take revenge. But I think what... And I, I'm not a... Culture expert, you know? I'm not a... Um, I don't need to go in there. I'm not a... Uh, I'm not an anthropologist or whatever. I feel like what most people outside of Korea classify it as is that, you know, Korea and a lot of East Asian countries have a... They place a heavy penalty on, like, shame. So, the idea that you died from something perhaps more like an accident, like, for example, you drank too much and, like, choked on your own vomit or something like that, while you were sleeping. Don't come over by me. Instead of that, it's like, oh, you know, it's just easier to be like there was, it was a fan death situation instead. I don't know, again, I'm, I'm kind of talking out of my ass, but. That's the way I've always heard it explained. Like, you're actually dead? 
Just let me hit you two times. I'm actually stupid. Why am I getting close to you? Just stay far away. Don't get hit by the goo ball. The booger attack. God, if that hit, though. <laughs> I deserve this. I deserve this. That's what I deserve. Oh, you're lucky. No, tough luck. The hammer roll is too strong. I kind of miss squaring up. I can understand that. It was very useful on uh, Margit, that's for sure. Okay, this is why we don't run the casino, by the way. <laughs> for a boss like this, new summon, maybe. Lutel the Headless, or is that a, I don't know, maybe that's a painting? You got anything for me over here? Whoa, 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 acquire materials, man. Root resin. All right, easy boss. We could still fight, please say try rump, but be wary of blood loss. I gotta know. Okay, you know what? I hate to do it, but I'm gonna one-up you. Try rump. What is a rump? I guess it's a body part. But then I need to toggle my message format, but... Be wary of. Be wary of holy. Be wary of taking on all at once. Holy cow. It's the best message that's ever been made. Try rump, but be wary of taking on all at once. Is there a way to just put that on my quick bar so every time I press square, it'll put it down right in the right spot? Oh, man. Not malicious upload. Thank you. Thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you. Try rump, but be wary of taking on all at once. That's just words to live by, man. Let me hydrate here. Wow, two bosses down already. Wow. Okay, I got to go to the bathroom, though. I'm just going to hide in the corner here and uh, run some advertisements. And I'll see you in just a couple of minutes. Let me slash marker this.